Hey, hey, I'm Stephanie. And I'm Chris. And, oh, sorry. Okay. <laughs> and that's usually what happens here. <laughs> We're going off the cup, so this is another one of our Sunday fun days. Get ready. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey, hey, I'm Stephanie. And I'm Chris. And thank you for joining us again. We're going to be talking about our Cannon Hall from this weekend. All right, so we got a treat for you. This week we went on an excursion. Now, you know how I've been telling you all for years that Stephanie's passion is cinematography. She was a director for years, and now we're letting her get back into that passion. And so where we went was Seattle, Washington, and there is a camera shop in Seattle called Glazier's Camera, and they basically put together this photo festival. It was so exciting, wasn't it? It. Yes, it was a great experience. So we want you to come along on our journey as we unbox our newest addition to Open Road Adventures. Can't wait. Here we go. Okay, guys, this is pretty much everything that we purchased. And I'm just showing you one by one everything that we got here. And all of these things that you see are going to actually help the camera run either a little bit better or it's going to actually help the camera operate just at its core. Correct, Krishan? Absolutely not. So we got to Glaciers this weekend and she had an idea in her mind of what she wanted her camera set to look, That's look true. like. That's true. I did. Now, I live by the mantra of buy where you want to be as opposed to where you are. This is true. And I'm like, hey, let's just get the bare minimum so we can save some money. So I was like, uh-uh, can't do that. But why do that when you end up buying the same piece of equipment <laughs> multiple times when it either it breaks or something better comes out or you realize you don't have something that meets the needs of something that you want to um, bring to life. And I agree. You know, when Krishan said that, I thought, you know, that really made a lot of sense. We spent a little bit more money now, and then I could basically have the upgrades later down the line. And so I was really thankful for that. So what you're seeing right here is the camera. This is the what they call the camera body, and that's where we're going to start. So she decided to go with the Canon C70. Mm -hmm. And the reason why we went with that body is because we already shoot Canon, and we have invested heavily in mm -hmm. the RF mount. And we decided that we would buy a camera with that on because in my opinion I think that's where Canon is going and there was no need to buy a camera that want that utilizes the EF mount and they have to rebuy lens associated with that body we just buy the future where, where I assume Canon is going next and what you just saw was me put on the cage they call it a camera cage and then I just put on a wooden handle as well. And so that wooden handle is going to help me hold the camera to the right hand side. And this, what I put on next is another handle that's going to help me hold the camera from the top. Are you going to tell them a little bit about the microphone? So we decided to go with this microphone because it was, um, I guess the best dollar for dollar mic that we saw there. There were some the more expensive ones there, but when we looked at the specs, we felt like this best met, best met our mm -hmm. needs because we're um, like what they call it running gun. And this is, right. uh, I think, I can't remember what he called it, a shock mount. Mm -hmm. So that when we move around, it, you won't get any background noise associated with moving or the mic moving up and down or left to right. Right. And uh, this one was called the Rogue NTG. That was the name of that one. And we just installed that on the camera there. And as you see at the end, I put a, a cat, a dead cat on there and you'll see that as well. All right, this is the monitor. So the C70 comes with a monitor. It's a built-in monitor. All cameras come with those. Um, but with the run and gun um, mode, like I like to be in, just kind of basically pick up your camera and run with it and get the shot. Um, uh, overhead mounted monitor works best. And so I can, as I'm running and walking with the camera, I can actually see, visually see what's on the screen without actually having to open it, turn it around and look down at the screen. It's actually pointed up where I can see it. All right, so here is the newest addition to our equipment setup. Hey, big shout out to Manny. And if you guys ever go down oh, yeah, the Manny. glaciers, he took <laughs> his time and put this together personally. He said this is what he would put together if he was putting together one for himself. And he does some amazing work. So go check him out at Glaciers. He did a wonderful job and he was very personable. We thank you so much, Manny. We really appreciate it. Want to thank you so much for joining us today. And remember, do something nice for someone today and you can do it. And don't forget, which ordinary people trying to do extraordinary things. You know it.